Hold on. I'm just taking one step at a time. All right, stop right there. Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Sarah. That's Ellis. And this is our truck camper. We love to adventure in the great outdoors, and we have hiked camped and splashed in some truly amazing places over the last few years. We don't know where all we'll get to visit in the future, but we want to continue adventuring. And we're taking you along with us. After many weekends working on projects, we have finally finished the remodel of our camper, which was an adventure of its own. So this means that it is time to finally get back out there part-time. This time around in our new rig. Follow along to see where our adventures take us next. Well, hi friends, happy weekend and welcome back to another video. Hopefully for you guys, this video picks up just about a week after our last video. For me, however, it has been a few weeks since I've picked up the camera because I've been sick and I am now recovered enough to get back to work on the camper and I just could not be more excited. We are hopefully going to go ahead and get the camper refrigerator installed. Dad's gonna be coming over to my house here in a few minutes to work on getting the refrigerator loaded up into a vehicle, take it over to camper storage. So we need to go get ready so we can get to work. <coughs> All good. Also, I don't know if you can see this, but the truck is filthy, it's filthy. We are right in the middle of a pretty serious pollen drop here where I live and it is just wild how it looks on the truck oh my goodness At this point, I think it is safe to say that spring has sprung around here. Anyway, enough distractions, let's get to work. Ooh, sunshine. You guys, I have five million different keys, none of them to the lock that opens the storage unit. I have key to the camper, key to the other lock I have here, key to my parents' house. I don't have a key to my house either. Key to the torque lift locks, key to the truck, which isn't here, but no key to get into the storage unit. Dad will be here in a minute. Hopefully he has the key. That's what we're working with today. Two brain cells, apparently. It's off to a great start. <laughs> ah, why do I like this? I'm not going to be able to move you guys unless we pick this up. So I'm going to tell you where the action's at. Getting through the door. See, the old refrigerator was more than 21 inches deep, and this is only 20 inches wide. The new refrigerator is supposed to be about 18 to 19 inches deep, so it should go in no problem. Moment of truth. Hold on. 
What are you doing? Go here. Oh, God. Okay. Hold on. I'm just taking one step at a time. All right, stop right there. Okay. Get my hands in it. Watch the pipe on the back. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're good. Watch the door handle and all. So having a refrigerator that's not as deep is perfect because we had some things to contend with. Cords, the old propane line that we have now capped off, and then where we ran the solar wires. That looks fast and easy. Fast and easy. Hello friends, good morning. We have our coffee to go today. I have a long weekend this week. So dad and I are gonna be heading back over to the camper to hopefully finish the refrigerator install. I am so excited to get this project done. Can't wait to share it with you guys too. Well, today we have gotten over here to camper storage before my dad. So what that means is that we have a few minutes to chat before we get to work. And I just want to use that time to get you guys up to speed with what we're planning here with the refrigerator. I believe this is going to be a pretty quick process. Um, in the front, we're just going to need to get some screws in order to hold the refrigerator in place. And in the back, my dad said he's bringing some kind of strapping and we're going to screw some holes through one of the back plates on the bottom of the refrigerator that I'll show you here in just a second. And we will then attach it with some kind of strapping to the base of the cabinet somewhere in the back where there's a good sturdy piece to connect into just to keep it extra secure. 
we'll hook up the electrical and we'll be done. Okay, so I've also realized I haven't shown you why we've added in those extra boards along the side. Let me show you through one of the screw holes and I think you will understand. Okay, so here we are. Can you see in through the screw hole? Right about there, we are square on. So what we're looking at there is the original like faceplate board. Dad and I have added another board back in behind there. You can't see it's a little bit more recessed. So we'll be able to drill into that. We just have to get some longer screws in order to make that work. Just since this refrigerator is a tiny bit narrower than the original refrigerator. So the cutout was not designed quite for one this narrow. So let's run outside so I can show you what I mean about the back of the refrigerator. plan is is to drill some holes into this metal base plate right down here it's just just metal um, and then get some type of strapping connect that down and bing bang boom we will be in business oh my goodness I'm blinding you sorry about that Uh, goop off. start getting the tools out of here and we'll check back in with the refrigerator once we've gotten it a little cleaned up. Well after about 15 minutes of cleaning it is looking a lot better around here. Look it's a dinette now again. Everything is really still messy but getting a lot better. But let's check on our numbers and see how the fridge is working now that it is installed here in the camper. Oh my goodness, that is very reflective. I'll have to get used to that. But anyway, let's check out our numbers. Okay, so number two is in the freezer, so it's gotten down to about two to three degrees Fahrenheit. It does tend to cool faster in the fridge is what I've noticed so far. The fridge right now is sitting at 63 and still dropping, so it looks like everything is working just fine. Okay, so it is actually after 3 p.m. now and I am definitely ready for some lunch. Dad already just headed out and I'm gonna head home to Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Hope to see you again next weekend. Bye for now. Here's your tape measure.
I like this one so it doesn't go back in by itself. Hello. We'll hook up the electrical and we'll be done. There was an ant. Where did it go? Why is it sliding down? Why is it closing itself? You guys are slowly sinking towards the floor. This is what it's supposed to look like. Look at this one. There's no... You got screwed. Yeah, we got screwed. Ooh, is she shiny? <laughs> <laughs>